check out this free video and make sure you hit like and subscribe. By the way, uh, speaking of Lucha, did you see Jose the Assistant's tweet? No. Yeah, he says, you are a star, Roosh. It is a crime that I got fired. Months passed by. I go back into wrestling. I am now a champion. And somehow you have not won a title. The people love you. Mexico loves you. Your talent and charisma is undeniable. You should be a champion. And uh, he did, in fact, win the uh, Alpha One Wrestling uh, Outer Limits title, which I think Ethan Page created. The Outer Limits title. Yeah, the Outer Limits title. And, and now, as a wrestler, this is the best part. He is Jose the Assassin. <laughs> Died when I saw that. Perfect. And uh, yeah, I, w I saw this tweet and I was thinking about it because I I watch, I try to watch all of the AEW shows, okay? And last week, uh, it was um, Money in the Bank, right? Yes. And so, because it was Money in the Bank, the Sunday Brian and Vinny show, we reviewed Money in the Bank. Normally Sunday, we review Collision and Rampage. So because we weren't going to review those shows on Brian and Vinny's show, and since I don't review Rampage on any other show, I didn't watch Rampage last week. And apparently last week was the week that Roosh joined the Don Callis family. Okay? So as noted, I didn't watch that one Rampage show. I watch Dynamite every week. I watch Collision every week. I watch Rampage this week. And, like, if I didn't know that that happened, I would have no earthly idea. None. Like, no recap of this on Dynamite. No recap of this on Collision. Not this week. Not last week. Don Callis was all over the shows. Like, I'd have no earthly idea that Roosh joined the Don Callis family if I didn't do this job because I missed one rampage and there has been zero follow-up whatsoever. So, yes, if there is a completely underutilized guy in AEW, it's Roosh. This guy is great like he's great would i want to take his drop kick into the corner personally no i would not okay no, no. but i've actually heard from people who've worked with him and they're like you know that drop kick kind of sucked but like the rest of it it was like it was nothing it was easy but man that guy comes off as like a killer yes a murderer yes and uh yes completely completely underutilized what's going on how, how have we heard nothing about this since it happened i can't answer well, because video packages, Brian, and you've called for too many of them, and there are going to be people who are very upset about this. But if Roosh is a star, which he should be, because I'm a fan who watches at home, and I don't have to work with him, I don't have to deal with him behind the scenes, I don't have to talk about his contracts or any of that stuff, he seems like he could be maybe a little obstreperous. But guess what? As a fan, I don't care about that. He goes out there and he kills people, and he's fun to watch. So, yeah, if he is... You know what? That's correct, Mike. Let me interrupt you. Go Remember all those times we had to watch WWE and those back when Vince was around and these announcers would have to say, so-and-so is fun to watch. And yeah. it's like, God, uh, can we just have a... But Roosh yeah. is fun to watch. He is. And you know who yes. else is, Brian? Mark Briscoe. Yes, and he is. I understand that... Also underutilized. A, yeah, to make him a pillar of Ring of Honor, that's cool. I'm glad that you did that. But I remember saying at the beginning, well, maybe you could sprinkle in some of the champions and utilize them on Rampage or whatever. And people, no, they're going to keep them separate. He said he's going to keep them separate. Nothing has been separate. The, with the exception of Athena and Billy Starks, everybody, every champion has come back and Fletcher and the kingdom and, and all that stuff. Mark Briscoe, and they've utilized him a little bit here, even though it's been a garbage, because you're you're leading into a war games that's happening for what reason? You know, the same re it just, it's 
boggles my mind that this is all you can really do with Mark Briscoe, a guy who people, fans actually believe in, a guy who actually crosses over all of your fan bases for the most part, and people like to see him. And why they decide to do a lot of the things they do, I don't know. But Well, here's my, here's my thing with the Ring of Honor, because uh, actually, if I can find it right here, Oh, where is it? Uh, I can't find it. But anyway, uh, there was, I don't know if it was an interview or, I'll find it right here. Hold on. Carrie Silken. Silken. Yeah. Carrie Silken says, the former owner of Ring of Honor believes the promotion is not being treated well. He discussed the current Ring of Honor on a recent episode of his Met Memories from Madison Square Garden podcast with John Arezzi. He owned the promotion from 2002 to 2011. They were talking about the product, and he said, Ring of Honor of the 2000s era tried to show some respect to pro wrestling. Sure, we did some wacky stuff. We had the flippy dippy do was coming into fashion. And uh, But he says the flippy dippy do was going on with Edouard Carpentier as well, which is true. It is true. Ring of Honor, there was some good pro wrestling going on in that segment of it right now. Ring of Honor, it's like no one cares at all. I don't care how much money Tony Khan has. It's not being treated well. So here's the thing with the Ring of Honor, okay? So to me, if Tony's going to run AEW and Ring of Honor, and there's going to be like cross promotion or whatever, I mean, to me, it's like you got two options. Either these are completely separate brands and what happens in ring of honor is like it's for the ring of honor audience if you're one of the ten thousand people or whatever and that's actually how many people subscribe so how many people actually watch every week i have no idea if you're one of the however many people watch ring of honor every week it is its own self-contained universe and it's got its champions it's got its storylines it's got whatever okay and it's not mentioned on uh aw television I don't want to say you want to ignore it. Like, Mark Briscoe, if you want him to come out with a Ring of Honor title or whatever, that's fine. But, you know, what happens on Ring of Honor stays on Ring of Honor for the most part. What happens on Dynamite and Collision, etc., stays. Or the other option is, if what happens on Ring of Honor matters to Dynamite and vice versa, then, I'm sorry, you need way more video packages. Okay? Because right now, it's like... I mean, even on even on Collision, you know, they were they were building up this this feud with the infantry real big, or I uh, forget what match it was, but you know they were talking about how you know so and so has been on a seven match win streak in Ring of Honor. You know, they're on fire, and it's like they're on fire. I I see them almost never, and you telling me they're on fire means nothing to me, like. I need to either see this, like just telling me about it means nothing. So there are a 30 second package of this guy destroying five people. Well, I mean, the the point is like them being on a streak on a show I don't watch means nothing to me. It means absolutely nothing. You can't take someone who's on a on a streak on a show that no one's watching and then bring them to collision to main event and think that like people are going to care about it. And they've done that a lot. Queen Amanada, that was the big thing. Remember, she would go away. All Vanished sudden, forever. Four match. Yeah, and then a four-match win streak, and then she's back in the mix again. It's like, oh, okay. Like, fine. I don't care about him running Ring of Honor. I don't care about him running Ring of Honor separately, okay? But, like, to me, it's either, okay, it's important... And so we're going to regularly see clips of this week on Ring of Honor. Yeah, you're going to have to devote two minutes to it or whatever to show us what happened this week on Ring of Honor. Because apparently it matters on the main shows. Or what happens on Ring of Honor stays on Ring of Honor. And if you want somebody to be important on Dynamite, they got to start winning matches on Dynamite. Or Collision. Or Rampage. Or whatever. I think it would be the worst idea in the world for them to maybe use some while they still have a rampage use part of that to catch people up maybe you have a little segment on ring of honor maybe you do possibly get a couple of more people who are interested then you can make rampage on weekends although i guess a lot of the roh pay-per-views are on friday but you know do something to try to incorporate it it just exists right now and i can understand look Kerry Silken sold it to Sinclair. Sinclair sold it to Tony Khan. 
whatever Tony wants to do with it is his business, but I can understand Kerry Sulkin because putting all of his money into it, having it be his baby for so long, he can feel any sort of way about how, for good or bad, whatever Tony Khan does with Ring of Honor, Kerry Sulkin could go ahead and say whatever he wants about it. But when it gets right down to it, is it necessary? I mean, was it promotional malpractice for him to turn down a deal when CW was looking for it and Ring of Honor could add a spot there that is now going to go to NXT? And, you know, again, I I just don't... Sometimes I don't understand what the purpose of Ring of Honor is where it seems like they have 17 matches that take place. And it's great for people. It's great to get exposure. It's great to get work and all that sort of stuff. But it, it doesn't even... It doesn't even register. It just doesn't register at all. And I don't, you know, I don't know how many people you said are, are 10,000 people are subscribed to it. I mean, I, you hear so little about it except when it comes time for the pay-per-view or when a Mark Briscoe is cutting a promo. I mean, honestly, the, the Ring of Honor story to me just illustrates what I feel is Tony Khan's biggest issue as a booker. And that is that he remembers everything and he has a photographic memory for all of these things that he does and the fact is the rest of us don't you got a very small percentage of fans like him but for the rest of us it's like i don't remember all of this and you're using your memory to book shows thank you for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again